In this video, I'm bringing you guys one of my personal favorites, The Hamstring Saga. I'm actually thinking of starting a weekly series called Brendan Schwab's Lying Tapes, analyzing Bapa's many lies. From being called the white boy that works too much by Floyd Mayweather, to Tim Tebow being his best friend, to him blowing both of his hamstrings and still being able to do a Tough Mudder two weeks later. If you like these type of videos, please be sure to subscribe. But let's take a look at how the idea of having a race between Chappelle and Bapa even came to be. You can make anybody nervous if like right now, if we were like, all right, everybody's in this room is going to have a foot race, a hundred meters. You just get nervous. Yeah. I'd probably beat everybody. I believe you would. Not a chance. I would beat Chappelle, you in a hundred meter. Not a chance. I bet you $5,000 I'd beat you in a hundred meters. Not a chance. You want to bet $5,000? Not, not a 5, chance. I bet you $1,000 I'd beat you in a hundred meter. Not a chance. Do you, you want to do, do 40 do, yards? Do you want to do a hundred meter? How far, what do you guys want to do? I don't know. Whatever. whatever, whatever. hundred meters. hundred meters? Sure. A hundred meters. Look at that smug face on Bapa. He's so full of himself, which is what makes the conclusion of this whole thing all the sweeter. He keeps repeating not a chance while he's drunk on whiskey and needs stick pills to get going. I will give him credit where credit is due. Bapa is pretty strong and athletic. He was ass in the UFC, but the fact that he even made it to the UFC says something. But I think that he forgets that he's not that guy anymore. Now he's a 40 year old gluttonous read act. Which is why Rinks gives him friendly advice and tells him to warm up beforehand. But Bapa in his typical fashion just belittles cuck Callen for even mentioning that let's take a look so also you don't you want to do this right so nobody fucking pulls a hamstring oh shut up <laughs> shut the fuck up no. i'm telling you that's no you're not we're that's fine. fair no that's fair let him have it. 100, no, miles, no, 100, 100 no. meters no 100, meter, 100 meters 100 meters <laughs> no. brian's all what if somebody pulls a hamstring <laughs> that bark fast you're super cocky i'm, your right uncle I'm not cocky you're quietly I'm confident uh, you've done some racing confident. in my day. Well, I've raced a lot of black dudes. And you know what's great about this? Yeah. Beat all the black guys. <laughs> I grew up around black guys. <laughs> nothing new to me. <laughs> it's nothing new to me. Bubba, hold on. This is what I do. Bubba, hold on. <laughs> oh, really, dude? <laughs> Remember this clip because Baba is about to eat shit. You literally can't make this shit up. He makes it so easy to make these videos and dissect his redactedness. And he keeps doubling down on his athletic abilities, B. Alright, I've made you guys wait long enough. Let's watch how the race actually played out. Let's go, Chabelle! Brian's all, what if somebody pulls a hamstring? <laughs> that bark. Why I was begging him to warm up. You woke up this morning. I used to be an atheist, but seeing this video made me believe that there's a higher power. Baba blew both of his hammies, but instead of falling on the ground from the intense pain, he just stands there. The most likely scenario is that he just cramped up or he saw that Chappelle was gaining ground on him and faked it. Which is such a fucking cheap move. Rather than lose honorably, he'd rather fake an injury and take away Chappelle's victory. And you best believe he didn't pay up on the bet that they made. One interesting thing I found is that he has a picture of himself after the fact where his left leg is bandaged up and he's on those tiny as fuck crutches that he probably stole from Mexican that she uses after her butt surgeries. So he posted that pic and then in another video he's doing cupping and getting a massage but it's on his right leg and there's literally no bruising or anything. And for reference, this is what an actual hamstring injury looks like. Now compare that to Baba's silky smooth wheels. And here's a clip of what a real hamstring injury looks like. Try to pay attention to how the player falls on the ground almost immediately. Look at it on a full sprint and he makes a little move right here and that's when it goes. You can see he makes that cut and it does not look good for the New York Red Bulls right now. Pensive times for the Red Bulls. I've given you their injury list already in the broadcast so far. They are spenched there, just to your right-hand side, Kyle. Well, it looks like they have Paulson up. He's getting last and struck. We'll have to see what they do. Tactically. Notice how Henry couldn't even put any weight on his leg. Unlike Baba, that's LARPing as an athlete, grabbing his hamstrings so that people can't say that he lost the race. This shit is so pathetic. I bet you that Baba probably thought that it would go viral like Tom Segura's injury. Imagine being such a sociopath and going through all this bullshit just because you couldn't handle coming second place in a foot race across a parking lot. That's a narcissist, B. Even his co-host has some suspicions. Started, so you started the race and then started it again. 
Yes. Oh, okay. after I got hurt. Okay. So right there, I, it's not what doing. And then out? there, that's where it hurt. Oh, yeah. dude, bad. Chip out with his shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> not good. And you want to get you. hit again? It does. <laughs> but I mean, just being, you know, yeah, if yeah, I was yeah. a fan watching and I don't know all this stuff, yeah. it kind of looks like. <laughs> He was about to win, oh, and then all of a sudden, I ha- wish. Hamster Dude, game. I, I, wi- I wish. <laughs> so not only did he blow both of his hammies, but then a week or two later, he did the thick mutter. And here's him bragging about how tough he is because he can fake an injury and then fake the recovery. I do the right. thick mutter on Saturday. Mm-hmm. We're all doing it. And, and you're going to do it with popped hammies and all. Da- Daddy's getting better. He's a tough kid. He's been rehabbing and stuff, though. He, he, rehabbing? I'm, I'm Jose Canseco right yes. now. Yes. I, I, I haven't had a carb in two and a half weeks that route like yeah. never say never yeah i think it would be pretty fun if i did a commentating thing well i'd do the fight companion for sure but if i was to after my career do whatever i got more illegal supplements rolling through this body to feel to cure this hammy than yeah. fucking oh, alex oh, rodriguez is, is no, baba literally just goes in a way it must be nice being that redacted not realizing how big of a clown you are and just doing and saying whatever you want alas not all of us are as blessed as baba anyways if you like the video please be sure to leave a like comment on what you want to see next and subscribe for more content